In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of occurrences of a character in a string using C++. The first thing we'll do is declare a string variable called text. And we're going to use text to store the string itself. We'll also create a car variable called character. And the character is going to store the character of which we're going to count the occurrences. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in the string and the character. So we'll have C out string colon to prompt the user to enter the string. We'll use get line with C in and text. So get line is going to read this string that's entered into the standard input stream. In other words, the console or the terminal, and it's going to store that string into text. Next, we'll use C out to prompt the user to enter the character. So we'll have C out with character colon. Then we'll use C in to store the character that's entered by the user into the character variable. Now to actually count the occurrences of this character in the string, what we can do is go through the string one character at a time with a loop. And we can check each character to see if it matches the character we're looking for. If it does, we can increment an ongoing count of the number of occurrences of that character. So we'll declare a variable called occurrences to keep track of the number of occurrences of the character in the string, and we'll initialize it to zero. Next, we'll make a loop to go through the string one character at a time. We'll have four int i is equal to zero. i is less than text dot length i plus plus. So what we're doing here is using the counter variable i to go through the string one character at a time. We're starting i off at zero, and we're incrementing it by one with each iteration of the loop. We're gonna stop the loop once i reaches the length of the string. So we'll check to see if the character at index i is equal to the character that we're looking for. If it is, we'll increment occurrences by one each time we find the character. And so by the end of this loop, we'll have counted all the occurrences of the character in the string. We can output the occurrences here. We'll say C out and we'll have occurrences followed by the string occurrences followed by an end line. So we'll save and compile and run our program. And for the string, I'll enter in ABC space ABC CC. Then for the character, I'll enter in C and we have four C's in this string, and we get four occurrences, which is correct. So our program is functioning correctly. Now there's a bunch of different ways we could actually solve this problem. For example, instead of using a for loop with a counter variable, we could use a range-based for loop instead. So we could say for, and we'll have car C colon text. And this for loop is gonna execute for each character in the string. And each time the loop executes, C is going to be assigned the next character in the string. And we could check to see if C is equal to the character that we're looking for. So we could save and compile and run this version of our program. And we'll enter in the string A, B, C, A, B, 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 C. And we'll try to count the character C again. And now we get two occurrences. And that is correct because we only have two occurrences of C this time. The algorithm library in C++ also includes a count function that we could use to count the occurrences of the character in the string. We would have to include the algorithm library to use the function. And then down here, we could comment out our existing solution. And instead, we're going to declare a long type variable called occurrences. So long is very similar to int it just is able to store a larger range of values than int. And the count function returns a long value. So to call count, we're going to have occurrences is equal to count with text.begin as the first argument, text.end as the second argument, and character as the third argument. So these first two arguments here are what are called iterators. And they're telling the function that we want to count the occurrences of this character when it occurs from the beginning to the end of the string. So we can save 
and compile and run this version of the program. And again, we'll enter in the string, let's say ABC, ABBBC. And this time we'll count the occurrences of the character B. And there's four Bs in that string. And we get four occurrences. But this time we're using the built-in count function that comes with the algorithm.h library. Now we could always create a function to carry out this work. So for example, we could copy this function call here and up here, we'll create a function called count occurrences. That's going to return a long value and it will accept a string and a character as an argument. And the function will just return the result of this expression that counts the occurrences of that character in this string. And then we could call this function. So down here, we could call count occurrences and we could pass it the string text and the character character. And one more time, we could save and compile and run a program. And we'll enter in the string ABC space A, B, 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 C. And we'll count the occurrences of the character A. And we get two occurrences, which is correct. Now you should know there's actually many more ways we could count the occurrences of a character in a string using C++, but we've covered some of the most common ways in this video, so we'll leave it here. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.